Fun. Thank Christ! You right been up on your feet? My heat's killing me, but... Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Cass. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no! Rass is still in there! Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right, aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get what? him to level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raps, it's all right, we're getting you out. We'll all right. Place, Can't do that yet. I gotta go, I think, down there. Release those cables. Like, I still get scared by things here and there. I mean, <clears throat> the the last game we played, uh, Layers of Fear, that came out in 2000 and, you know, last year. That version of Layers of Fear actually got me. <laughs> Pretty good. That's it. Which was really good. Even though I played, like, the first Layers of Fear, they added some new stuff in the first one that actually made me jump and <laughs> got me real good but the thing that makes me like layers of fear a lot was mainly the story and just the, the weirdness of the whole entire experience what happened don't know the drill hit something an air pocket or gas explosion same thing with this game but whatever it was it was big you were lucky trust me douglas is trying to find out mayor like if the bear is even safe now What's wrong with Raps? I don't know, all right? Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, Raps. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. I don't think it's decompression, man. man I can do. No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, I'll head down now. Yeah, like for like a good example of like what my taste in horror is now, is like I like the psychological. I like the, I like I like I like horror movies and games and all that that. One, of course, tell a really good story, very obtuse kind of storytelling, too, where there's a lot of, like, you know, it's, it's left to interpretation. It's, it doesn't explain too much and everything as well. And um, when it comes to the fear reaction of things, what I like to experience now that doesn't annoy me anymore is just mainly just ambiance. It is the overall feel of how it makes me just the environment, the mood. The mood has to be just right. And they actually get, they actually do a pretty damn good job in uh, Steel Weeks, you know. Steel Weeks to Deep. They, they get the feel of an oil rig down so damn well. And an oil rig from 1975, which is funny thing. Funny thing is, enough is that uh, oil rigs haven't really changed that much. When you look at like current day oil oil rigs, they have a pretty similar similar setup, which is very funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's, nothing's changed since the 70s. It looks like. <laughs> My only gripe with this game is, of course, the cat and mouse mechanics that it, it sprinkles throughout the game. If it didn't have that, I would probably like this game a hell of a lot more. But that's that's my only gripe. At least it's it's not relying on it too heavily, which is a good thing. Ooh. And I love the mystery of whatever the fuck this is. I like I really like that they don't explain this at all. That's what makes a good horror experience. 
the mystery. Because you don't know if it's alien, you don't know if it's like an old god, you don't know if it's just some insanely weird natural organic creature that has been in hibernation on Earth since, well, Earth was made. <laughs> I love, I just love the mystery. And a lot of horror, just games and movies and all that, tend to over explain things and it ruins the horror and it gets rid of the horror the more you explain to the consumer the more you lose that Jesus. sense of horror Fuck. oh yeah <laughs> so less explanation less explanation the better in my absolutely 100% opinion when it comes to horror games I think the one chase, and it, it's in the peak play too, uh, the one chase scene where you get chased for the first time is probably the most frustrating chase, but once you get past that chase, uh, the game gets better when it comes to those mechanics. Mainly because it just gives you very little room for error. Like if you just turn just the wrong way, you get fucked over and you get caught. They have to do it over and over and over again. But at least the chase scenes in this game is, one, not abundant, but two, pretty short. And I like that. And I was like, okay, yes, make your chase scenes at least short. So that way we can get back to the meat and potatoes of the actual game itself. Because the meat and potatoes are not being chased around like a little dipshit. <laughs> I don't want to be chased around. That's not fun for me. That's not scary for me. It's more annoying than anything. I can love a sequence to this game. Oh, well, oh, a sequel to this game. Well, I don't think they could have a sequel. But they could probably tell another tale within this universe to where there might be other weird things in this world. All right. Oh, oh, oh wrong one. <laughs> I thought it was the left trigger. <laughs> it's the right trigger. And see, me restarting like this isn't a problem because it was my fault. <laughs> Me making little mistakes like that's not a problem. As long as I'm not like restarting the whole climbing. Ooh, yeah. And so, yeah, I kind of noticed that the physics get a little weird in this game, but it doesn't really 100% bother me. Whoa. Christ. Have the, I mean, this guy pretty much has the same like oh, hell. speech pattern as I do, except that he's Scottish <laughs> and I'm not. I mean, I have Scottish blood in me, but I don't have any Scottish like actual culture or vernacular. I mean, when the Chinese, when the Chinese uh, room got onto this project and everything, a lot of people had very high hopes. Because I'm, I'm trying to remember, but I think this game had two developers. I think they had a secondary developer working on something, but the main developer, I think, was the Chinese room. This is a very odd name for a developer that, one, 
None. I don't think any of the developers are Chinese. <laughs> I think they're a UK team, aren't they? Hmm. Oh, okay. Here we go. Never mind. <laughs> Just gonna chill here and absorb the ambiance of the the game. God, I love the scenery at times. Even though it's an oil rig, there's a lot of really cool stuff to like look at. Just a minor one. Now, the main goal for this uh, stream, though, today is just to play and enjoy uh, <clears throat> Still Wakes the Deep from beginning to end. And uh, today is also an archive day, so I got to get the archives all up to date. Wah. And then, whoa, on Friday, we'll be playing The Devil, with, uh, the Devil in Me be my first time playing that one so yeah there is a lot of horror games that we will be playing during horror month that are going to be blind playthroughs but there are selected horror games that I decided to play off stream that you know deserved it <laughs> there are some games that deserve to be played off stream and some games that okay I could save this for the stream this was one of those games where I, I really wanted to be able to just put on headphones not talk and just you know get lost into the world as long as the game is finally something useful a fucking flashlight mate hell yeah <laughs> do we have a flashlight <clears throat> how do you turn that bad boy on ah uh, here we go And speaking of silent, I do plan on playing Silent Hill 2, but you know, when it comes to a blind playthrough of Silent Hill 2, we're about, you know, a couple decades uh too late to that. <laughs> Even with the remake, there's nothing really blind about it. So I was like, yeah, the story's gonna be the same. They're going to have some new stuff in it here and there, but the overall stories, I pretty much know what it is. <laughs> everyone, everyone that has at least been born in the 1990s and older knows the story. But it's nice that uh, at least, what is it, Gen Z and Gen Alpha will be able to experience Silent Hill for the first time in their life. That's the good part about, you know, remakes from time to time. I'm just hearing him. I want to make sure the audio's up all the way, though. I think it should be. Yeah, audio is all the way up. I cannot jack it up anymore. Cool. Just making sure. I'm very picky about my horror now. Like, if I wasn't picky about my horror... I would probably actually be 100% excited about Alien Isolation 2. <laughs> but as I said in the beginning of the stream, it's so hard to get excited for those games now. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard to get excited about any horror game coming out unless it proves itself. Guys, over here. Jesus. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. Should we no find him? Help him? No. 
Can I recommend that? What does that mean? It means he's no all right. After that explosion, they got oil or some shit on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm not arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. It's horror games. They have to do at least something stupid. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to like unscrewing the vents and all that, it's like we'll unscrew like the top half like normally, and then we'll just rip it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> That's yeah, totally okay. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not gonna rant about the horror genre for too much. I think you guys pretty much get the gist of how I feel about the genre. It's the same thing with Souls-like games. I'm just tired. I'm a horror fan. I've always been a horror fan. Ever since I was like in my like single digits, I was a horror fan. But, uh, ooh. Oh, oh. So cool though. That is so cool looking. Cause I'm at, like one of my favorite horror movies and just horror tales of all time is The Thing. Uh, the thing from the 70s. Like, that is probably my favorite horror movie of all time. Next to the original Alien movie. So, if you think about it, my favorite horror tells are technically sci-fi horror. So, and this almost... Ooh, this almost fits the bill of sci-fi horror. Because you don't technically know if it's sci-fi, but... It kind of has that, like, thing vibe to it. Which is really cool. So I think that's what won me over as well when I first saw the game being shown off. Alright. Time to turn it so I can pass. Mm, can't go that way. I can go down. Yeah, I guess that's probably the best way to, like, pacify it. It's like, it could be Eldritch, you know, Lovecraftian, with some sci-fi mixed into it. I don't know. That's, that's the cool part about this game. It doesn't explain it, so... That's, it's up to interpretation, and I think that's the way horror stories should be. Unless the author of said story chooses otherwise. Now, I think Stephen King explained it pretty damn... Like, he has the perfect quote to where uh, if you lose mystery... Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not doing verbatim of what Stephen King said, but he, he said it perfectly to where if you get rid of the mystery, you get rid of... You know, it's not a good hard movie, uh, story anymore. You need this... You need the mystery. Let's see. Uh -huh. The hell was that? Oh, that door is almost broken. What the hell was that? Oh, I went through it. <laughs> I thought I was going to bounce off the railing. <clears throat> All right, we got water tanks. 
Gotta exit to ACOM. Oh, oh wait, so I'm here. Oh, we're going through exit ACOM to water tanks. Three, all right. I was reading it the opposite way. Alrighty then. No, don't go with this. The fuck is that? Just don't think about it. Fuck. Just trying to make too much noise. I'm trying to remember if in this part you can actually. I'm not gonna look behind me. Fuck that shit. I never do that in any horror game. <laughs> if I'm running away, I think it's the dumbest thing to do is look behind you. So all you are is screwing yourself over of like, oh yeah, I need to turn here and I accidentally run a run against the wall. I'm trying not to. Uh yeah. So there isn't like a what do you call it? There isn't a uh danger to this part except for maybe if you die here i mean if you stop moving i guess you could probably drown <laughs> i don't know that 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 sequence where you dive under the water is probably yeah, we'll go but yeah expect me to at least die I'd say two or three times during this playthrough, mainly because of the whole chase mechanics are just hit and miss, man. <clears throat> like I know what to do, but I'm still probably gonna die. <laughs> it's still gonna happen. Stay away. Kinda of tell what direction he is in too. <laughs> Which is a cool little mechanic with your uh I guess your iris. No Douglas 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 and probably broke his neck. Now, I'll, I'll let you guys know when the when we get past the peak play part cuz I think it's it's when we finish the first chase sequence is when the peak play ends. Ugh. Okay, where am I going again? I will be using the whole what is it? Yeah. Okay, I need to go up there. I will be using that mechanic though, which is always very nice sometimes. I know games like Silent Hill 2 and all that doesn't have that mechanic, but when it comes to somewhat more linear games like this, it's very nice to have. I don't think I've ever actually been over here after. I didn't even know you could go over here. Oh, I'm just gonna have to drop down. Oh, the light flickers anytime you're facing direction of danger. Oh, I didn't even notice that mechanic. Probably because I just never tried to look at the actual enemy. <laughs> oh, you know why I don't look at the enemy most of the time when it comes to like horror games? It it's because of Soma. 
Soma got me into that, like, almost that, like, habit. Have you ever played Soma before? Looking at the enemy is actually dangerous. <laughs> But speaking of another good horror game that it doesn't really rely on being chased that much compared to like its predecessor like Amnesia and Penumbra, um, Soma was a really good experience. And I'd love the story. Oh, the story is chef's kiss. So I never really paid attention to his light flickering, mainly because I just thought his like light was a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> it's like it's a it's a headlamp in the seventies. Jesus. I can't continue until he warms up. That and he was in the water a lot. Fuck. Like usually when you see the uh, mission update, priority update, you can start moving. Anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something. Someone's calling. The clearly here. Huh? It's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we had something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor. Boom, we're talking. See the pontoon, engineering, lifeboats, dive deck, accommodations, administration, processing, was that cute? And dedics. No, there's, oh. Can't go that way. Uh, I love how he like lets the uh, player know that it smells like shite. Wait, oh, I'm going up. Something's happened here. Roy! No, 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 he's not here, fuck. I have to go around Definitely the corner. Definitely gotta go in that way. Please, please be there, mate. Kinda go around. Definitely hear some people upstairs. Trot. Trot. That's pretty crazy looking. Able to help him. Notice when it comes to his running speed, it's almost like a very small difference, but not that great of a difference of him running. It's like a minor, like, speed boost. Hello? It's like going, it's like walking like three miles per hour and Running at five miles per hour. <laughs> That's how fast he runs. I'm like, oh, he picked up about two two miles. That's cool. Bloody hell fire. Get in quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? 